Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome back. So I have something I'm very excited to share with you guys today. And it's five, five brand new country candle from Kringle Candle Christmas holiday winter candles. Now, Kringle did send these out to me. Um, and uh, so here I am. I'm going to share them, give you my honest first impressions like I always do. Um, nothing has changed from my uh, Halloween uh, country candle jar um, first impressions video. I have started burning um, Cauldron Spell and it is changing a little bit. I still stand by my first impressions. Um, I know a lot of the other folks out there, you kind of felt the same way once you got yours. So, um, I also do have a bunch of Zen candles, bougie, and one farmer's market candle they sent me. Uh, I'm going to do that in a separate video because I wanted to do the, the holiday theme ones first. Because the other ones are just kind of, uh, with the exception of one or two uh, year-round fragrances. Um, there's just no rhyme or reason if the, you know that they're... They're not categorized um, other than Zen, Bougie, um, or Farmer's Market, Farmer's Collection, Farmer's Table, what one of those. Um, <laughs> so let's go through these five here. Now, they're not available on the website yet, but they are available in store. So if you happen to live near the, the store there up in uh, Burns End, Massachusetts, 20 minutes, 15 minutes down the road from me in Candle Village in South Deerfield, uh, they're available in store in a couple different formats. I have the large jars here. There are more. There's like a candy cane cheesecake. There's um, at least one other one that I'm aware of. But these are the five that I have here. So we have fresh aspen snow. Right? And these have all been poured. And that was one of my biggest complaints over the Halloween jars. They were poured five days before shipping. Um, these were poured in the middle of August. So these have had over a month to basically cure, um, which I found that Kringles do need to cure. Um, and, but they're all strong on cold. Uh, one is super strong on cold. We'll go through that. Uh, then we have here Alpine Retreat. Then we have uh, Gingerbread Latte. Christmas Market there and the last one here is bohemian holiday so let's go through them all here real quick like i said the code on the bottom this one says august 17th okay um this one is august 20th so they've had about 30 days um to process and cure all of them except for one have good fitting lids i mean right so uh good to me uh, same thing here. So, uh, it's just this one here. A little loose there, but, uh, one out of five ain't bad. Also, I don't know when I'm posting this, but my pre-order Halloween candles are supposed to arrive tomorrow. I'm recording this on the 23rd. Uh, they're arriving the 24th. So I'll be talking about those as well, which you can't get anymore, unfortunately, but, um, talk about them. So let's go with fresh Aspen snow here. Love the artwork on all of these um obviously a big difference from the old uh country candle label which was more square um you know he started switching over to these last year year and a half ago i think um and that reason was due to the other ones had a hard time um staying on uh, application so this is a icy blue gray uh really nice there you can see all the Scent oils down there. This is a nice fresh snow vibe. It's wintry. It's cool. There's a cool here. It's maybe a little bit of eucalyptus or peppermint, but not overpowering. But yeah, you get that feeling like you're on the slopes with the trees. Now, there's not necessarily a tree note prevalent, but it's mixed in there somewhere. Um... Minty, yeah, so peppermint. So the mintiness is um, pretty nice in this, not too powerful, at least on cold there. So that is my thoughts on that. Next, we have Alpine Retreat. This is a baby blue, 
Robin's Egg Blue. Now, they're very similar, yet different. I don't know that you need to buy both of them. Um, you can if you want, sure. But this one's outdoorsy. Um, outdoorsy cold. So not really a mint in here. Just you get that cold, you know, like from a white birch. Like a frozen ozone. Yeah, so this is more frozen. A more frozen note, but not a strong frozen note. But it's there. So there it is. Alpine Retreat. Okay. Let's go with Bohemian Holiday. This one's weird, uh, but it's nice. <laughs> it's got a lot of funky things going on with it, which I guess is why it's called Bohemian Ho Holiday. Um, really strong. This one I don't really know where to go with, um, to be honest with you. It's kind of got like a citrusy lime note in it. It's got some tree note. Um, almost a candy kind of vibe. I want to say like jelly beans. Sugar, like a jelly bean sugar. It's just an interesting, interesting concept. And of course I have no scent notes for these. I have no direction. I'm just kind of going off my nose and what it smells and... I could be completely wrong when the scent notes come out. Um, you know, Kringle has interesting scent notes that they use sometimes, so we'll see. This is, it's a weird good one. And the label is awesome on this. The tree with the ornament, the pine cone, just a great label, great wax color. I mean, everything about this candle is just, it's nice. Wait to see the scent notes on this. Because I don't know what I'm really smelling in here. Other than it's kind of pleasant to my nose. So, take that for what it's worth. Next we have here, Christmas Market. This is on the cologne side. And it reminds me of... Remember Yankee Candle did the, um, the collection... The Winter Wonderland collection. There are like six or seven candles in there. This reminds me of the Happy Tonight one, which is the blue Happy Tonight. The the couples on the front, they're embracing. Um, that's exactly what this reminds me of. Bergamot, lemon, okay. Um, wintry. So it does smell cozy. Um, the image, the smell, what I get from it is like you're in... Um, one of those small towns in a Hallmark movie, like, like the Christmas Town um, movie there, or uh, what am I? That's one of the other ones there. A town called Christmas is what it's called. Um, and there are some other ones with Candace Cameron Bure, where they also have these small Christmas towns. That is what I, this gives me the vibe of. You're just in a nice log cabin, cozy vibe. Uh, this is. It's pretty. It's a pretty candle. Uh, all the way around from the label to the wax color. Um, or like it. Wax pour, you can see. I'm not sure if you can tell there. But. Yeah, right there. But that's not a big deal. There's no wax splashed around. That's also. Well, maybe a little bit, but not too much. Definitely good there. And here. This one's so strong. Gingerbread latte. So, so strong. Um, gingerbread latte is one of my favorite drinks from Starbucks. I think it's been discontinued for a year or two years now, which is a huge bummer. Um, so there's some other local places near me that do um, gingerbread lattes. And holy cow. So this is a intense coffee fragrance with a little bit of gingerbread. Smelling it more and more. There's lots of the gingerbreads coming out, um, but it's gonna be interesting to see when this is burning how that coffee bean fights with the gingerbread because they're both strong fragrances by themselves. Uh, and when you put them together, it's gonna be very interesting to see how they fight together to see who's gonna be the dominant scent there. Um, again, the label on this, we got the gingerbread man. Um, we were at a, a fall scarecrow thing this weekend. There was a bakery there, socially distanced, of course, 
and um, my son picked up the, his first gingerbread man of the year, ate it, ate the whole thing, I didn't even have a bite of it. But yeah, this is, um, it's not a sharp coffee scent, like Paris Cafe from Bath & Body Works is just ugh, horrible. This is a creamier coffee scent, like there's like a creamer or milk mixed into it um, with that gingerbread. All right, it's a latte, duh. It's milk and latte. Yeah, this is really nice. A um, little wax splash, but otherwise, good. These candles smell like Christmas, okay? They uh, look like Christmas. They smell like Christmas. They feel like Christmas. And that's what I'm going to say to them about them. These are good. They're winners. Um, there's even a lot of winners in the three wick that I have here. Again, I'm not going to do those right now. A couple of days, maybe. But, um, but for now, talk about these. Let me know if you smell these in store. I don't know when they're going to be online. Because um, there are some new Christmas candles, holiday, winter, whatever you want to call them, coming to the Kringle Candle Line, which is the white wax. Um, I don't have any of those. So I just have these five country jars there. Um, and I'll start burning them. Um, but I have a feeling this, uh, gingerbread latte is going to be a favorite for a lot of folks. If you like gingerbread latte, secondly, the Christmas market, I said cologne, don't be afraid. Um, it has grown on me since I, I got the other day. I've had this for about a week almost. That is for about a week. Um, so, uh, I like it. I enjoy it. It's nice. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for the other ones and I'll be back real soon. Have a good one.